So um, uh, Shane um, uh, Becker over on on, on YouTube asks, asks a question. And he does it kind of of, of cheeky, um, and I'm I'm gonna ask it in in, in a more um, um, plain spoken manner, um, which is why would somebody choose Angular over fill in other um, framework here? So like personally, I'm a, these days I'm a huge Svelte fan, um, okay. but you know why would why would somebody choose you know Angular over over another? That's a great question. And to be honest, it's truly a matter of preference. Um, for me, it was the similarity to C Sharp. Um, so once again, coming from a C Sharp background, I feel really comfortable in the um, really kind of the, the compiled and the strictly typed manner. Um, that being said, um, I also use React on occasion. Um, I have applications I've developed in React Native. Um, I have applications I've done in few. And, you know, I think for me, I come back to Angular mainly because um, when it gets to a certain level of complexity, um, more so than the other languages, I would say Angular is opinionated in how you should structure your project. And then also it allows me to actually um, offload some of my development work and effort to other um, Angular developers. I think in terms of popularity, um, I'm, I may be mistaken on this. I think React is number one. Um, Angular is either number two or three. So because there's a shared kind of um, architecture and there's a shared understanding of you know, how components are created and where those components should go, it's easier for me as a serial entrepreneur to actually find other people that will actually help me um, build upon my Angular project. So it's um, this is constantly changing. Uh, folks who have been in the front end web development space for any period of time know that, um, you know, <laughs> and maybe <laughs> five years from now, we'll be saying this about a different language, but um, it's really a matter of preference. And then for me also, um, popularity and support at this point. Okay, that makes that makes a lot of sense. It, yeah, like, you know, 10 years from now, just like we were saying, hey, remember using Knockout, we'll be saying, hey, remember using Angular, and now we're using, you know, who um, um, who yeah, knows what. Hopefully um, Blazor or WebAssembly. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I really wish I could remember who the, the name, uh, what the name of this developer was. This is a book I read uh, many years ago. And one of the things that he calls out, which which you did um, there as as well, um, is, you know, if, if if we go into something assuming that we don't always have the right answer, that if we go into something assuming that, hey, you know, I don't necessarily have the right way to write some code, we're going to inherently just be better developers because then we start to rely on the the work of others and, and the, the, the path that, that they've blazed in front of us. So that way we can go, oh, okay, then this is the best practice and I'm going to follow along with that rather than trying to figure out how to, you know, to to, to use the the old uh, proverbial example there reinvent the wheel that let me take advantage of, of what's already out there because I know that they've already gone through all all the struggles and I can then just you know benefit from 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 their efforts a hundred percent a hundred percent and I mean I'm a definitely a, a poster child for um, not prescribing to the hammer mentality, meaning that if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I, I like to look at each project um, for what the end result should be, how quickly I want to achieve that, and then what's the best set of technologies or technologies to help us achieve that goal. So um, that's where the exposure to Flutter, Django, Ruby, you name it, um, all comes from. I, I, I appreciate that. And, and you know, it's it I, I make this analogy from from time to time. It's like, you know, the reason that you took um, or hopefully you took, you know, another language um, in uh, in school isn't necessarily just to learn that language, but rather that in learning that other language, you learn more about your own. And so because of the fact, like like you mentioned, you know, that you've done a lot of different things, I've I've played around in, in React, I've played around in Vue, I've played around in Svelte. Um, admittedly, I haven't done um, Angular yet, but because of the fact that I've, I've done all of those, I've now, you know, learned more about web development and I've, I've picked up different things from those different frameworks where I can go, hey, you know what, that actually could work here or maybe that doesn't work here or I get a better understanding about why it is that Vue is built the way that it's built and Svelte is built the way that it's built. And you really only get that if you're getting out there and, and, uh, and, and trying um, uh, different frameworks.